Okay, so apparently this is the week where I just bring back all the series that I haven't done in a long time. So we're back with Out and About, and as you can see we're on Bush Rangers Run. Basically the premise of this series is I just walk around and shoot things however I feel like shooting things. It's basically just normal hunting, so I have an excuse to get distracted by literally everything, which I do pretty well anyway, but it's fine. This, this is one of my favorite series because I can just kind of do what I want. And I'm kind of surprised that I haven't done one in a while. So without further ado, let's go shoot some things. Okay, so I just finished talking about how I get distracted really easily and it took me like a whole two seconds to find all of these rabbit burrows and I'm officially distracted. But the great thing about this series is that I'm not distracted because there's no actual topic to get distracted from. So here we are. I heard a rabbit and I don't see it. Now I'm distracted from the things I was saying, but that's, that's fine. Because I need to find a rabbit that I think went down a hole. Okay, well, we'll see if there's any good rabbits in here, I guess. I'll check the tracks and if there's anything worth staying for. We'll sit here and we'll pop a few, but looks like they're mostly small tracks. Usually I find that uh, burrows are predominantly one, s one gender of rabbit and looks like most of these are all male. And for those of you who don't know, male rabbits are actually smaller than the females. So I'm probably not going to stick around too long. Might watch just for a bit to see if a rare pops out of there and then move on with my life. Okay, so I got bored of the rabbits. There seemed to be like only one of them in the burrows. The rest of them were like out and about around the burrows. And normally if I was hunting Euro rabbits, I would fire a shot off with a rifle to scare them all back. But I didn't really want to focus them, so I decided not to fire a shot off and to just move on. And we have a male kangaroo that for some reason seems to be skittish. And I think that shot should be close enough that I can kill it with the 30 out 6. I don't have a lot of experience with this gun. Not totally sure what the ballistics are, so I'm not entirely comfortable with long shots. But I suppose we'll see as soon as he stops moving. There we go. I'm gonna aim just a little bit high. And he's down. Rumbled him. These things are pretty uh, pretty easy to drop kangaroos, so I don't even know. I could have just hit him in the leg or really anywhere. That could have been an arm shot and down he would have gone. They're kind of fun to hunt though. I have a lot of fun with kangaroos, honestly. I'd like to hunt them a little more. Alright, this kangaroo had a max of 85, so he has, he has a little bit of potential. 75, so he's about average, which isn't bad. 250 meter double lung shot with the 30 out 6 isn't bad though. I'm actually quite happy with that. I would like to get a few more male kangaroos this hunt, but we'll see what we run into. I don't have any like real big feral goats, so that could be cool as well. But that's the cool thing about this series is who knows what the hell I'm going to shoot. Okay, so I just walked up on a male kangaroo. I saw his back like peeking up over this hill and I thought it was a rock. Turns out it wasn't a rock. Let's just see. He's right behind that hill. And I can't quite get a clear shot at him. But I do believe he's headed towards us, so this should, should grant us a shot opportunity. Can't really tell by the hopping noises which direction he's going. Oh, there he is right there. And he's down. I think I saw a female as well, and I didn't hear any spook. So we'll have a quick peek over this hill. They were quite a bit behind him. Yep. There is another one. Yep, right there. And that was not a drop shot. 
And I'm not really sure where I hit her because I kind of just shot through the bush. But, I mean, it's a female. You guys don't really need to see what she scored, so I'll go pick her up on my own time and see what she leads me to. But for now, let's have a look at what this guy's going to score. 73.3, so pretty average again. These actually don't pay that bad. 57 GMs for an average kangaroo. Well, I guess the males are a little bit fewer and far between than the females, so... I suppose it isn't as great as it seems, even... It's, it's not that good in the first place, so I mean... It's not that great. My evaluation is it's just not that great. Even though I said that it was kind of great. I'm gonna go track this kangaroo now. Okay, so at this point this is kind of just a kangaroo video, but it, it's fine. There's, I can hear one hopping like just on the other side of this hill and he just called, so he's a male. So this could be interesting. I'm actually surprised at how many I'm getting into crossbow range. We're gonna take him out and then hopefully we can find some goats. I wanna, I wanna get at least one like half decent goat for this video. I haven't even seen a goat yet somehow, which is interesting. I never really got onto the fox side of the map, so that never happened either, but... It's fine. That's the great thing about this series. I can do whatever I want. And I'm still not wrong. I'm hoping that I can see this kangaroo from up on this hill and get a semi-clear shot. Or even better, just like an actually clear shot. There he is right there. He's gonna go behind that hill like a bitch. Okay, there we go. Not too familiar with the 10 point, so this is a little bit out of my ideal shot range. And he's not gonna stop moving. Okay, there we go. I think I spined him. I don't, I don't have a very high 10 point level, so. I kind of got shaky there at the end and shot a little higher than I intended to, but it worked. Yeah, no, we... did we drop him? Well, we did, but yeah, we did spine him, okay. And he's 75 max, so not very big. Night night. That does not look too fun. Just right through the face. 73.7, so yeah, another average kangaroo. Level 5 on the 10 point though. But yeah, let's go see if we can find some goats. We have a group of goats. They're not really anything special. In fact, they're all like, brutally small. And then we just got like this other guy hanging out over here. And he's actually kind of white, so I kind of want to shoot him first. Just on the very low chance that he somehow is an albino. So there we go, that one's down. Now let's see how many of these things we can smoke on the run. That's one hit. There we go, there's another one. Gotta get my breath back if I wanna hit any more of these. Don't think I hit that one. I think they'll actually just like stop within my render if I just wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that one's hit, so that one's bedding down. And I missed that shot, so I screwed that up. Okay, well. As you might be able to tell, my uh, 30-06 level isn't very good, so my... I'm not very steady with it. Let's see, we got a dead one there, and a dead one there. I'm going to mark this one because I'm less likely to find it. And then I'm going to go grab that one, and then the other two. Okay, I'm like 90% sure that this thing is an albino, but you never know. Gotta, gotta go with the off chance that it is. So we'll see. And obviously, yeah, common. But it's fine. It's actually not fine, it's common and tiny, really hardly worth the bullet. 
and in fact I don't even think it paid for the bullet so yeah let alone all the other bullets that I flung at the other ones that also aren't gonna pay for the bullets but that's fine all right so it wasn't the worst hunt we didn't really kill anything too special but there were male kangaroos all over the place and those are always fun to blast at I'm glad to have brought this series back hopefully I can keep it somewhat consistent and not leave it for a few months again but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one